Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Exodus and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. In today's video, I have for you guys a 45 gun street gameplay from my buddy Minaj. As per usual, I'm going to link his channel down below in the description. So guys, please be sure to check his channel out. In this gameplay, he got a nuke and he also got somewhere around 15 unstoppable medals to go along with it, which is insane. And yeah, he was pretty much melting faces. Right, let's start off by talking about the class setup that Minaj was using. Now, if everything goes according to plan, then there will be a screenshot showing his class setup. Uh, oh, there we go. He's using the VMP along with fast mags, quick draw, and extended mags. And as for perks, he's rocking afterburner, fast hand, scavenger, and tack mask. Afterburner is actually very useful if you're the type of person who likes to stay off the ground, and I've recently just started using it, and I must say it is very helpful. I got out of some pretty tight situations using afterburner, which wouldn't have been possible without it. He's also using fast hands, which means he can aim faster after spinning alongside scavenger, so he never has to worry about running out of ammo. Scavenger is a must-have perk for long streaks, because when I got my first and second nuclear medals, I struggled a lot because just because I had to pick a random weapons off the ground and not all of them had good attachments. And lastly, he's using tactical mask which makes him immune to stuns. And as for score streaks, he's using the usual defensive streaks, UAV, counter UAV and hater. These are the best streaks uh, to use if you want to go for nuclear medals or high gun kills. And as for specialist, he's using, he's using the purifier, one of my personal favorites. Alright, so I want to tell you guys some tips on domination. This is actually one of the best ways to earn XP and to level up fast, as I'm sure you all know. In domination, a lot of people tend to cap flags left and right. By doing this, the spawns keep shifting from A to C and vice versa. If you can capture your base flag and the B flag, and if you can hold it off, well, you can pretty much win the match easily. But what most players do is they push towards the other side of the map and try to cap the enemy flag, which results in the spawns to shift and therefore ensuring that your teammates at the other side of the map will die. Yeah. All I'm saying is try your best to control the spawns. If you're playing teammates game modes, always have your teammates to support you. If you're going solo, then you should definitely use the suppressor along with ghost. I think the suppressor has the least amount of um, the, least, the least effect on range and damage reduction. I think on the KN44, you should always have a stealth cast just in case. If you you know you never know when you need it, right? Uh, and also try to use the movement system to your advantage. If you can utilize the thrust movements well, the gunfires and getting out of tough situations becomes much easier. If you can, also try to get a hold of something like a scuff controller or any controller that's got paddles or buttons on the back. But if you can't if you can get your hands on any of those type of controllers, the bumper jumper is indeed a great option. It's basically just a button layout that you can find in the settings, and that's what I personally use. And there we go, he just picked up the nuclear metal. Alright, so I guess that's it for the commentary. Hope you guys did enjoy this amazing gameplay, and don't forget to show some love by subscribing to my channel. And also, do not forget to smash that thumbs up and down below. Anyway, it's me Exodus, and we'll catch you guys later.